So I discovered at the Charles Goodnight Chuck Wagon Cook-Off that there is an event I have never covered before in a Chuck Wagon Cook-Off, and that is a youth division cook-off competition. And I have been told by authoritative sources that uh, some young folks are challenged to come up with making some potatoes for the Chuck Wagon Cooks dinner this evening. Now I'm a day early. I normally get to these things uh, the day of competitions, but this year I made a special effort to get here early because I've never covered some of this early stuff before. Okay. And this is rather new to me. And your name is? Gus Bowker. All right, and where do you live at? Uh, North Lockney, 15 okay. minutes. Okay, very well. Have you been to this competition before? No. I see, so this My is brothers your- brothers have. Is this your mom and dad yeah. standing over here? No, we're just, we're just here looking. Yeah, that's my mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've been doing this for many years. I kind of have like a sixth sense. So, uh, all right, so what are you cooking up today? Durban fried potatoes. Well, tell me how, how it all started. Did you start off peeling them? Yeah, I peeled them, cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them in a bowl, and then uh, put ice on them. Yes, sir. Them, yes, sir. Now, did you have a mentor that kind of helped you out a little bit? Yes. Is that this fellow right here? He helped me cut, and the uh, other person, I don't know where he went, I see. Uh, helped me skin them. Yeah, yeah. Did your mom give you any advice? No, not really. Wow, okay, very good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ready? Take that. Should have kind of run those under that. Right? And I want yep. to flip them over. See how they're getting brown like that? Yes, sir. That's what I want the other side to look like. All right? Let me have that. Sure. All right, get her done. Smoke get to you there a little bit. Yeah. At least you're upwind. Okay, now kind of uh, spread them out so they're kind of all in one layer, okay? Uh oh, lost a few there. Man overboard. <laughs> all right, that's good. Let's let them cook a little more. Good, good job. All right. Now, were you given specific ingredients to work with? Now, I figure uh, that all the cooks are given the same kind of potatoes. So what is going to be your competitive advantage in doing these things? Well, ingredients or the way they're cooked? Chuck Wagon Crew. They Chuck Wagon Crew. Apparently they're a good cook, so. Okay, okay. Well, uh, like who chose the spices that goes on there? Homer. How much salt and Homer did? Okay. All right. We can't. We can't. We can't tell him our secrets, Gus. Okay. I, we, we can't tell him how much we put them on anything. But well, and you know we put what? The good stuff on there. Didn't My we? YouTube subscribers are always hounding me. Well, tell me what the ingredients are. Right. Uh, so that's pretty now, much when it comes it. down to like the uh, the baking or the cooking oil, is that something that's issued? Or you get yes, to choose they, your they own gave oil? Some, they gave us some oil, so that's just some gotcha. straight up vegetable. Gotcha. Oil. Right. Now, would this be the same type of potato that people will be able to enjoy tomorrow for the tomorrow? Uh, cook uh, they have asked us to do mashed potatoes, so that we have a kind of potatoes. a. It's kind of the same, in, uh, you know, recipe or look. Gotcha. So that they've got something to compare. Them gotcha. With. Now, uh, in this particular competition, was there a distinction made uh, as to what type of potato, no. cube potato, or they said do whatever mashed potato? You want to, or? And Gus and I decided to do jungle ah. potatoes. Ah, okay. Much more creative freedom there. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. All right. Gus, well. Are you German? No. I'm not German. <laughs> I'm not, I am, 
Uh, apparently, you come from I'm the German. Right part of the world to be a German. I am too. <laughs> I'm 100% German. <laughs> my grandparents, on both sides of my family, were all German as well, except for a Ukrainian. I would say that's about as German as we can make. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, well, good luck. I hope you do very well in this competition. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So now we've got another young competitor in the potato cook-off competition at the Charles Goodnight Chuck Wagon Cook-Off. The day before, the big day when you probably have to be competing in this thing. Are you the cookie of the wagon? I'm the cookie. All right. So you have a young protege here. This is Hotton. All right. And where are you all out of? I'm out of Amarillo and he's from right here in Clarendon. All right. Well, very good. I'm glad to see that uh, there's some um, intra-community cooperation going there on there. I'm out of Amarillo as well. Oh, great. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, now, I understand that it's up to the competitors to come up with whatever type of potato recipe that uh, that they want to. It's that's, up to them. That's correct. This, uh, is, this is all about them. They get to do anything they want to do with the potatoes. All right. Hotton, all right. What did you put in them, Hotton? I put cheese, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, I think that one. You boiled your potatoes with jalapenos. Oh, yeah. Boiled my potatoes with jalapenos. Oh, my. So you had full range of choice and the types of ingredients that the, you would use to make these. Uh, now, are they mashed potatoes, diced potatoes? Mashed potatoes. Okay, so they're not fried at all? Nope. nope. All right, so what hand did you have in preparing those potatoes? I peeled them, stirred them, put in some of the ingredients. Okay, well, they had to be mashed. I mashed them. Okay. Did you kind of like squeeze them with your fingers? No, or? we had a potato masher. Okay, is that potato masher still out? Yeah. Okay, is it like an old timey potato masher? Yeah. Yeah, I can recognize those. One of those from back when I was even younger than you. And that was probably a little bit over 60 years ago. <laughs> so I would say that's a pretty ancient potato masher there. All right, so uh, what aspects of uh, cooking these things, especially over an open fire, did your mentor help you out with? Um, I did all the hot work. If it was, had to do with the fire, we didn't want him getting burned or anything, so right. I helped him with keeping them on the fire, getting them hot, draining the hot water, and then he did everything else. Okay. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So, how much further do you have to go? Do you think it's about turn in time, right? I think they're it's ready. Done. Yeah, you want to see them? Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. Go on that other side. Go on the other side of the bed. Hook it, lid. Mmm, yummy. That looks very yummy right there. All right. Well, since you're a hometown competitor and, uh, you know, it's being held in this historic area, originally J.A. Ranch, I wish you a lot of great luck in your potato recipe. Thank you. All right. There you go. Well, thank you all both for talking with me. You bet. Thank you for coming by. All right, time is getting short. It's about time to turn in the uh, competition potatoes here. And I've got another competitor. Where are you from and what's your name? Uh, I'm from here. Okay. And my name is Henry Bivens. All right. Well, how did you get roped into this whole deal? My mom said that I had to or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Are you enthusiastic about this? What's your experience been like so far? I mean, I'm happy doing it, and I uh, right. I got like heat sickness or something. 
Oh, I see. Yeah, I've been around these open fires like this. It, plus, it's a hot day. I think it's what, 98 uh, degrees out here? Well, they said it was, it was, 100, said it was 100 degrees when we had the cooks meetings. So. Oh, Lance. Yeah. Oh, Lance. Yeah. Now, I presume you're the cookie of uh, this camp the, here. I'm one, I'm one of the helpers on the wagon. He owns a wagon. This wagon's out of Mustang, Oklahoma. It's okay. Cross Timbers wagon by Jack Ramey, and I'm just a helper out here. So okay. I'm from Choctaw, Oklahoma. So. Okay. Yeah, this is... This okay. Is Oklahoma, I won't say anything this is, bad. This is I'm a Texan. Wagon. I won't say anything bad. This is Oklahoma wagon. So. <laughs> Glad to have y'all here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we enjoy coming to Clarity, and it's a good, yes, sir. good yes, contest. Sir. One of the tougher contests that we go to. All right. Yeah. Now, uh, there wasn't a lot of restrictions on what kind of potatoes, how they were they to be prepared. They, they, they gave us a five, pack, five pound bag of potatoes and said, go make something. Okay, so uh, was the choice of how they were to be made up up to you or uh, did you have some help along with that? Uh, I didn't really have an opinion on that, so. Oh, no. I don't know how to make potatoes very well. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, you don't have much experience cooking at home, helping your mom out, or? I cook eggs. Good. That's about it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, tell me a little bit about your potatoes. Um, they're twice baked potatoes. They're twice baked potatoes with cheese, bacon, a sour cream, and onion dip. Wow. Whoa. And I don't remember what else. That sounds great. Salt I'm pepper. sure there's some seasonings in there. In a little bit of what? Salt and pepper goes in everything. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, um, are, have y'all already turned in? or? No, we got them underneath there. We're getting ready to heat them back up and okay. finish them up. And okay. Then they got turned in at uh, 545. Okay. So do you think you would be able to make this up at home? by yourself, maybe not on an open fire like this, the old timey way, but uh, on your kitchen stove. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, okay. you, can do it. you can do it here. Sure you can. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now did you have to peel the potatoes? Uh, no. Put them in? Uh... I... Okay. No, at least not yet. But... Okay. We just bake them and then cut them and pull the centers out and mix it up like mashed potatoes and restuff them. So, okay. It's just, it's just a twice baked potatoes. Ah, oh, stuffed so, potato. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Well, that's unique. Yeah. yeah Much we, different from the other competitors. Yeah. We try to do different stuff, kind of mix it yes, up sir. in little competitions like this. Yes, know. sir. Show something besides mashed potatoes and chicken fried steaks. You know, that's about yes, 90 percent of the contest. So. Yes, sir. It gives us a chance to kind of broaden horizons and you know really kind of. Let's and people know you can do more than just you, fry that, something. Exactly. Yeah. So. Exactly. Well, that's that's what we try to do. All right. Well, thank you all very much, and I'm sure I will come back again tomorrow okay. when the big competition is going on with the wagons and uh, Mr. Master Cookie here. I will be visiting with you again tomorrow as well. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much for taking on an apprentice onto your outfit, Enjoy letting him you. have a little bit of hand. That, that's the future. Uh, right there is the future. Yes, sir. Now here I am at another competitive chuck wagon on this historic weekend of chuck, and chuck wagon cook-offs. And you know, I've done a really bad thing, viewers. I have not been mentioning the wagon teams themselves. We've been finding a little bit about where they're from, but uh, each team has a name that they go by, and I haven't really been picking that up. So. I understand that you are the mentor of this young lady who is in the potato cook-off competition this afternoon for the Chuck Wagon team's dinner. Yep. So uh, tell me the name of your team and where you're from and your, your name as well. I'm Kevin Romines and my wagon's the Honeydew Spoiler. We're from Pampa, Texas. All right, I think I met you <coughs> year before last. Yep. Yeah, I think yes, you've been here. Yes, sir. All right, so you have a young protege here yep. who has been challenged to uh, come up with some potatoes for the cook's dinner this evening. Uh, is your mom here with you? No. Okay, are you from Clarendon? Yes. Okay, well, how did you get roped into doing this? Uh, 
My my mom asked if I wanted to cook last year, so I wanted to. Okay. So do you like cooking? Yes. And you actually cooked last year uh -huh. as well. So oh, so you've got more experience than some of your competitors do. Yeah. And they're boys, and they haven't done any cooking at all. Do you cook any at home? Some. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, now, they've all been coming up with different ways to make up their potato recipes. How about you? Describe your potato dish. Tell him how we did it. Mm. How'd you start out? <laughs> we put the potatoes in. In what? And we, in we, a pot. We, we sliced we them sliced thin. We sliced the pota potatoes thin. Were they peeled? Did yeah. you peel them? Okay, so the skins aren't on them. So they're sliced up. What else happens? Uh, we cut up the bell peppers. Okay. And then onions. we cut up the onions. And we cut up the butter. And we <laughs> cut the we bacon. Layered, we layered them in our Dutch <laughs> And then we layered them in the Oh. Sort of like scallop potatoes. Have you had experience with scallop potatoes? Mm, Use really. a lot of cheese. It's just kind of layered. We're going to put cheese on top of them when they this before okay. turn in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these recipes are not like <coughs> period Secret, type recipes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, boy, howdy, each one of them sounds like they're going to be really yummy. <laughs> now, have you tasted your potatoes yet? No. Okay. Are they about done? Getting close, probably. Okay. Uh, so, are they over here on the open fire, or they're over here in these Dutch ovens? Have you ever cooked anything in a Dutch oven before? Uh, don't think Get that lid like I showed you. You don't take a picture of it. Okay. Ooh, boy, howdy. That looks awfully yummy. Yes, ma'am. So, do you think this is something you might be able to do at home? Maybe not in a Dutch oven. You could do it in a regular oven. I might be able to do it. Sure, sure. Are you going to share that with your mom, do you think? Maybe. <laughs> Now, since you have cooked before, is this a little bit different than what you've done before out here? Yeah. Okay. So, you're already building up some great skills that you can use for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Learning how to mix things together and cook them in such a way where they're tasty and yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed talking with you all, and we'll see you again tomorrow. So now I've moved on to another chuck wagon at the competition going on here at the St. Therese Museum. And who's the cookie on this outfit? Uh, I'm Ori Matthews with Lazy M Cookers. All right, and where are y'all based out of? Lamar, Colorado. Lamar, Colorado. I was very close to there at uh, Hugo. Okay. There was supposed to be a chuck wagon cook off there. It was canceled, uh, yes. And it was canceled, and I was so ticked. That was one of the reasons I was going to go there, in addition to covering the WRCA qualifying rodeos. Yeah. But there was one excellent caveat to that whole weekend was the Jeremiah Ward Memorial Bronc Riding, right. which turned out to be fantastic. <laughs> I one loved of the it. best ranch rodeos at Colorado State. Yes. Uh, ranch rodeo and it's really fantastic. Excellent, excellent. Another thing that really amazed me is uh, I had never really been to that southeastern part of Colorado before and the whole drive from Amarillo where I'm out of clear up to Hugo all look pretty much the same with the exception of twin buttes. <laughs> two buttes. Two buttes. Oh two buttes, okay. Yep. <laughs> I was thinking Twin Peaks. No, you know that television you show? Uh, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they, Something they like that. Uh, they didn't explain to you that that was Pike's Peak? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So I've been interviewing a lot of the young competitors in the potato uh, competition. 
And uh, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Kasten Snyder. And where are you out of? I'm from Amarillo, Texas. Okay, everybody else I've been talking to are from Clarendon. So how did you get roped into doing this? Well, my grandma runs the C-Bar C truck wagon. So, Sue! Uh, yes. I know Sue very good and yes. I know Wade. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. We, I've been doing it my whole life. I okay. Just started this as my first uh, junior competition that I've ever done. So. Excellent. Now, have you done any type of uh, open fire cooking before? I've helped a little bit with Sue, but okay. usually uh, I get in her way, so I just step away and not not get in her way. I try to help Wade okay. as much as I can. He's a little Good bit more district. lenient. Yeah, so. Sir. I help Wade more than I help Sue. So that's I understand Wade's pretty easy going. <laughs> he is, he is. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's kind of like the bread expert too. He is. That's kind of like his main job, I've discovered yes. that. All right, so. You want to look at their, what he cooked? Yes, sir. Everybody has been doing different styles of potatoes, which has all been okay. totally original and amazing. All right, so these are we mashed done potatoes. It. No, they're uh, they're a diced potato that we've put cheese and stuff oh. with them. We call them a cheesy potato. All right, let me get cowboy them. cheesy potatoes. All right, I can see some. You want a taste of them? Dicey stuff in there. I'll come back in a little bit. I don't want to uh, disturb your uh, you know competition portion there. That's right. got to be turned in here pretty quickly. Been trying to run around as, as quickly as I can. Okay. No, we take All right. So, do you also cook at home? Do, do you do any cooking at home? I do. Every once in a while. Okay. So, I think you actually have more experience than the other competitors I've talked to here today. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Well, does this inspire you to maybe learn a little bit more from your grandmother? Yes. Because definitely. she is a world champion like 10 times <laughs> over in the Cowgirl Hall of Fame. Yes. You know, so, uh, heck, there's a lot of experience and wisdom to learn there. Yes, there is. For sure. And I'm sure that you guys know your stuff, too. Well, and yeah, I'll be looking forward to coming back again tomorrow to uh, uh, see how you do, you guys do, uh -huh. and your competition is a little bit more limited than this potato competition is. Okay. Yes, it is. You got, uh, you know, ingredients that are given to you, and there's not a whole lot of freedom right. in uh, how things can be prepared, and it has to be more like 1800 traditional okay. type things, too, I understand. Uh, well, we need to get to that, him up there with this. All right, All mighty right. fine. So, boy, howdy, I have cut this turn-in time really close. I've got one more competitor to talk with, and we're going to follow him down to where he's going to be turning everything in. Now, is everybody going to follow you as well? Yes. Sir. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, come on, you old people. <laughs> you need to get to moving. One thing you got to remember, don't drop your hand in. Boy, I mean. There we go. So, you've got a little portion there for the judges. Yes, to, sir. Uh, all right. Well, what hand did you have in preparing this? And we not, might need to walk a little bit faster. Yeah. You help no. cut stuff up yeah. and cook yeah. stuff in, a, in the Dutch oven, right? Yep. Yeah. And we put the spices in there. Yep. And we had confidence for um, winning or having fun. And yeah, you yeah. Know, it's about learning what happened. Yeah. With Charles, good night. And I'm just thankful for being here and doing this. All right. Very nice. Wow, that was a great interview right there. Hey, yes, sir. But yes. secretly, we kind of want them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Don't tell nobody. Now, uh, which wagon team have you been working with? Um, Camp Cookie. All right. And where are they based out of? They're from Memphis, Tennessee. Wow, Memphis, Tennessee, boy. In howdy. Granbury, Texas. Well, and I met you fellas two yeah, years ago. <laughs> yeah, we and I told you I was going to come back and talk with you <laughs> and never got the chance. Yeah. Randy Whipple pretty much uh, oh. took up the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Yes, sir. Sorry. All right, here we go. Let's All go right. Hand in. 
All right, thank you, brother. It's nice talking to you. Well, I'm gonna. Are you gonna follow him to yeah. the end? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna follow this all the way through. I'm wondering where the hand end is. We'll see what we got here. Now, what style of potatoes did we fix up here? There's plain old potatoes. <laughs> well, mashed potatoes, cute potatoes. Cute potatoes, sir. Okay, use a lot of butter. Nope. Just well, no. used, um, Why don't you stop for a second and hope that it broke? Are they fried? Don't drop it. Take, Take a look there. Oh, yeah, bacon. Everybody loves bacon. Good there job. we go. All right. Now, I don't know if the judges will let me record them tasting some of these entries or not. They didn't give you a picture on the back, no, did they? Didn't. Hey, Jason, did you cook up some potatoes? Hey, All right. He did a good job. Yeah. He did a good we job. We got him. He's our friend. Good job. Yeah, him. Back in Williams' Okay. And it on Taylor? Thank you. Jason, I'll take that. Thank you. God bless you guys. Thank you. He did a great job. We were so thankful to have him. Yes, absolutely. He's a sweet guy. He's a good guy. And he's on now an honorary saddle pile. Oh, how cool. Aren't you lucky? You really got a good wagon, didn't you, Jason? We did good. Yes. Come on in here. Nope. You good, you good. Yes, he did. You know this lady right here? You don't? Okay. I'll bet he does. She's going to run over and give you a hug. I'd make claim she her. Go, she goes to work at Pimpa all the time, don't okay. she? Yeah, her too. So probably doesn't get to see her very often anyway. Anyway, good job. I better take this in with him, Jack. All right, let's see what happens, hey. brother. Good, good job. Luck. Thank okay. you all. Appreciate it. All right, hang around here. All right. Well, I doubt I'm going to be allowed in there to do all the secret judging type stuff. Uh, so I might just have to wait and for the final results of all this. We will be here in just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I've talked to all of the competitors out here yep. and I've looked at all yep. their dishes. And now, how did you get involved with this? My mother was the president of the museum about 27 years ago, and she actually started the Chuck Wagon Cook Off way back when. So yes. And now I'm on the board and help okay. out where I can. Well, excellent. Yeah. And I didn't ask you what your name is. Jennifer. Jennifer, yeah. and I suppose that you are a Clarendon resident yes. as well. Yes. Okay. Well, all right. I don't want to hold you up. Okay. And I guess I will catch up with the results great. in just a few minutes. All right. Great. Okay, Thanks. Bye. Junior cook, Halen Bivens from Clarendon, cooking with the Honeydew Spoiler. Come on up. We have a ribbon and a bandana. And I thank you to the American Chuck Wagon Association for helping sponsor the Junior's Cook-Off. They get a bandana, a bandana, label, pins, ribbons, for all courtesy, all courtesy of the Chuck Wagon Association. What did I say? Oh, excuse me, lapel pins. Lapel. Hey, it's the eyes that go first, I understand. Next up, Hot and Bibbins. Clarendon, Texas, cooking with double nickels. That's one that's my one slip up for the day. My one for the day. Next up. Henry Bivens from Clarendon cooking with Cross Timber. Next up from Canyon, Blake Bodeker cooking with Cocoa Bar Camp. Next junior cook, Gus Bodeker from Lockney, Texas, cooking with Robertson Wagon. The sixth junior cook, cooking with Camp Cookie, Jathan Green.
in the last cook. Preston Snyder from Amarillo, Texas, sticking with Lazy and Cooker. We have, we're going to have third, second, and first place, and each wins its money. $10 for third place, $20 for second place, and first place gets $30. Now, a picture. Third place, winning $10, goes to <coughs> Jathan Green from Clarendon. Yay! Second place, winning $20, Kasten Snyder from Amarillo. <coughs> First place, winning $30. Henry Bibbins from Clarendon. Do y'all want a group picture or anything? Or were y'all already yes. 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 Okay. If y'all stay there, get the yes. sharp line, they're going to get a picture for the paper. <laughs> Act like you like each other. Come on. We don't social dust distance here. Yeah, we don't get it a little bit closer. Distance. We'd like to thank the wagons, each one that hosted and helped cook the juniors cooks. We hats off to you and we thank you for helping them. <laughs> keeping the keeping the tradition alive through these young people. <clears throat> yeah. All right, one last round of applause for each one of them. Thank you, guys.